Okay, this one's on the uh, fan center for the uh, furnace. Fan centers are not used much anymore. Newer furnaces have most of this stuff built into the uh, integrated furnace control. Uh, but there's a lot of these things out there that were used earlier and a lot of techs have trouble diagnosing these silly things. Uh, so let's just uh, see if we can take a little bit of the uh, mystery out of these things and decide how they work. Okay, a fan center is put on a, a gas or oil appliance generally, could be electric too I guess, uh, and it's usually done, it's usually installed because there's air conditioning or for some reason you want to run the fan. Gas furnaces and oil furnaces both have heat operated fan switches or some sort of time delay built in or something like that to operate their fans. And so they don't need this type of control for their fans. But if I wanted to turn the fan on or add air conditioning that required the fan to come on, this is what I would use. Okay. It consists of a transformer, just like this one. It also consists of a relay. Now I'm going to pull this relay out. Now this is a peanut relay, or it could use one of these relays here. Uh, this relay plugs in the same way this one does. Now I'm going to pull this one out so you can see this relay just came out of being plugged in there. So it could be replaced that way or, or tested or whatever. Uh, in this case, on this end, these are the low voltage terminals here. Look on the other side of this thing, these two black wires come around here and they hook to the common side. I'm going to get a little closer in that so maybe you can see better. Okay, they hook on the common side because the transformer comes out here and here. These are the two terminals, R and C. One of them goes down to the coil of that relay and the other one goes to G. I can't see the G too good, but there it is. So if I had a low voltage control wire here coming from the thermostat, that would pass power to G which would energize the relay. Okay, so it's going to turn the fan on. Now let's take a quick look at the relay. Now without going into too much on the relay, uh, let's just note this is a single pole here, double throw here. One's normally open, one's normally closed. Uh, I'm not going to go into the terminologies of each one with this one. I've done that in other uh, videos. So, okay, now we're looking at the back of this control again. And we've got two wires here that come out. One's black and one's white. And if you look, you can see it says line. Okay, that's going to the transformer. That's the 120 volts of the transformer. So this would simply go to the power coming into the furnace. Okay. Okay, the other wires going to this plug where the relay fits in, you've got a yellow, which is the pole, and you've got a red, and you've got a black. Okay, the red's going to be the normally closed, uh, usually red indicating low speed on the fan, and black is going to be the high speed of the fan. When you're wiring this thing up, this is mounted on a 4x4 box, and I'll show you what the 4x4 box looks like. Okay, here we're showing a picture of it mounted on a 4x4 box in a furnace, relay here, and of course the transformer there. Uh, and then you'd wire your low voltage to here, and your high voltage is all buried inside the box, because that's how we do it, to keep everybody from getting electrocuted. So, now we're back with this little thing here, and so how do we wire this silly thing? 
Okay, for that we're going to go to a schematic diagram so we can give you an idea how it would be wired. Okay, um, I've done a little bit of a schematic of this thing and I've used the colors that are used on the relay. This is the yellow wire you saw coming out of the back of the uh, relay. That is the pole of the single pole double throw switch. Power passes from it to the normally open fan relay contacts. It also goes up to the normally closed contacts and then external to the relay it is wired to the heat operated fan switch which energizes the fan in low speed when this is closed and this is a normally uh, closed position and there is a rise in temperature in the heat exchanger. Now you can see that if this high speed contact was closed then this one would open. It's an either or. So that we cannot pass power through here even if you had a warm heat exchanger and this was closed this will be open so only the high speed can be energized and of course that's true the opposite when it's in the normal position only the low speed can be energized but that's what those colors are for and I hope this makes sense okay next we're gonna do a little bit of troubleshoot with this thing and uh, uh, with the meter and we'll see what happens 